Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 Next Gen video. I know that y'all read the title. You're probably like, yo, what is iPod about to be talking about? You will find out. But first, I want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Fearless, the mobile game. This is the first time my son has been paid for a gig and I'm very, very proud of him. So make sure you guys check out the skit and show my son some love on Instagram, man. And also, download Fearless mobile game. Let's hop into it. What's up, Beth? Yeah, tell Dave to come take the trash out. Alright. Dave! 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 Yo! Uh, yeah, what's up, Dad? What is you doing? Oh, I'm playing this game called Fearless. Please explain to me why this game is more important than doing your chores. Well, it's this new game called Fearless that came out in the App Store and I've been playing it all week. And Dad, if you didn't know, it's actually a movie called Fearless on Netflix. And it's a really good movie. And I think you should download the game too. You know what? Let's make a deal. I'm going to download your app. I'm going to play it. I promise you, if I don't like it, you're on punishment for a month. A few moments later... What's that? Oh! What's this? Oh! Oh! <laughs> I told you it would be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I can't lie. You were right. Well, you guys, you guys should download Fearless in the App Store right now. Uh, you want to go watch the Fearless movie on Netflix? Dad, let's go. But you, making the popcorn. Yeah, as soon as you take out the trash! Now, I have to say, I made a promise to someone inside my Discord server that I would make this video. Now, this video is long overdue, but I want to let you guys know that inside my Discord server, we do talk about regular things. We talk about memes. We talk about movies. We talk about women. Uh, you know, it's just a whole lot going on in my Discord at all times. But one thing that I take pride on is helping people with their builds and stuff like that. So looking behind me, you see that we're in I builds right now. And somebody did ask me a question about their badges and stuff like that, telling me that they don't suck and everything. But I gave them my honest opinion about what badges they need and stuff like that. But today we're here to talk about people who builds suck. So basically, if you go into Rookieville, you know, you first just get the game and everything like that. You haven't heard of the 6-7 scoring machine power forward. You make a build that you think is one of the best builds to you because it looks like it does everything to you. But then you find out that there are other builds out here that just do everything and you just can't stack up. I'm here to talk to you. Yes, this video is for you. So... Big shout out to um, whomever commented and said, yo, I really need help with a build. One of my builds suck. I want to just create a guard. I don't want to be like everyone else. So today we're going to be talking about that. Now, first thing that you need to know, the build that I will be showing you is a point guard. Yes. And it is not the meta build inside the game. This is really a build where it'll allow you to grind badges and warehouse challenges, which give you double badge points. Don't forget about that. It'll allow you to grind in my career. If you want to play on Hall of Fame, that's up to you. I'd rather you play on pro five minute quarters and sim out in the third when you go up by 25. And it will also allow you to grind badges and play very well in rec because everyone does have that six seven scoring machine build or a two way scoring machine or an offensive threat. But what they don't have is high perimeter defense and a lot of speed. What people don't understand is speed really gets you far in this game. Now, there are builds that are glitchy, but if you're a point guard and you're really, really fast, you have an advantage over a scoring machine. People just won't tell you that. So let's go ahead and hop into the build. Oh, before that, make sure you guys check out the link in my description. Join the Discord, join the community. Um, also, I look for people to stream with me when I'm playing NBA 2K, Apex, uh, Grand Theft Auto Roleplay, uh, Shinobi fighter. I, I play a lot of games. Just put it like that. 
but as you guys say in my discord i go live on caffeine i go live on facebook and i go live on twitch so make sure you guys come to the discord server so here we are this is the best point guard build to me yes to me because i know a lot of creators out there they always say they have the best builds and everything like that and honestly they never say that this is the best build to them and why it's the best build so the reason why i say that this is the best build is because you get clamps you get intimidator you get a high block rating which will allow you to block shots and have perimeter defense tied in with your block because a lot of people don't understand that shot contest is in blocking this year so for all of you builds out there that are creating these builds with no defense 25 everywhere i don't know how you do it this build also does pretty good in the wreck so for those builds out there that need clamps intimidator and maybe you need pick dodger because maybe you know you're getting screened all day this build will allow you to have that as well as it gives you the slashing that you need without giving you all these badges that you won't use in the long run we all know what it is when you slash you're praying for two different animations you're praying for them being on your back where you're dunking it with two hands or you're praying for a contact dunk when they fall on the floor that's the only two animations you want to see when you go in for a dunk so that's why this bill has a high dunk rating a pretty good um layup um a nice little standing dunk and a little bit of close shot i know that there are people out there that say bro why are you putting on close shot it's because all i need is eight badges and i didn't want to sacrifice one more defensive badge just so i can get more finishing inside layup and dunking all right close shot is really important you know how many people smoke standing layups or even smoke wide open layups the game has been out since november you know what i mean it's now february and there are still people complaining on why they miss certain layups or miss certain animations because you made a build without close shot that's what you did you did that to yourself also 20 shooting badges is more than enough i'm gonna tell you the badges that you need right now it's only two badges that you honestly need in this game deep threes and blinders hot zone hunter green machine hot shot all of that is caveat all of that is added pressure to your build but blinders and deep threes make your build go crazy by itself you know what i'm saying uh, of course we know that special delivery was quote unquote uh nerfed but they didn't nerf special delivery they nerfed the relationship between special delivery and hot shot so now people that do the moving shots with your takeover and stuff like that and you get a special delivery pass it don't hit the same no more but they didn't really nerf the relationship between special delivery and heat seeker so for all you slashes out there that's a little caveat as well but like i was saying man 20 shooting badges is more than enough and trust me 16 playmaking is all you need ankle breaker on gold is literally the best playmaking badge in the game hands down next swinging people hitting the floor the shot creating ankle breaking takeover is listen if you've been playing the meta since the game has come out you probably know all of this right now but for those people that have issues with their builds they said i don't want to be a power forward i don't want to go into the wreck and be playing the five because everybody has the same build this build is for you as well as i played with a few people at the park and i noticed that their builds not really that high in defense were getting smoked bad so even if you're at the park not just wreck if you're at the park and these six seven builds are running past you hitting moving threes bumping you driving right past you dunking on you putting you in animations you can't get out of that's what this build is for this build is 6'6 180 pounds with a 7'2 wingspan that's more than enough so make sure you guys if you like this build you got a little bit of spare vc or if you just want to grind this up from the from the, the bottom because you you like that type of challenge create this build 
and tell me what you guys think about it. Me personally, when I created this build, I went into my career, did my thing because of course it's my career. I went out to the park and I said, whoa, this build is really, really fast. A lot of people don't realize this has a 90 speed and an 88 acceleration. Just imagine this build with Gym Rat. By the way, I am a superstar one, so Gym Rat is on the way. You know what I mean? So uh, all I'm saying is I like this build. I hope that you guys will like this build as well. And just to, just as a little caveat, I'll go ahead and uh, pick the takeovers real quick. So what I like is the ankle breaking uh, shots and the pull up precision. Until 2K patches fades, and I'll make a video on that later. Um, until they patch fades, this is the only takeovers you need. These, this is it. That's all you really need, you know what I mean? Now, this build is called a two-way threat, all right? So if you're looking for that name, that two-way threat name, this is it you know what i mean and remember this is a point guard so when they see this build they're gonna be like yo is this a is this a power forward or what they not gonna know what hit them until you start moving around that court at lightning speed and they can't keep up with you all right so let me go ahead and uh test this build real quick i'm gonna show y'all the uh the badges that i will put on this build all right a lot of people always ask me every single day ipod help me with badges help me with badges y'all even seen it earlier in my clip like everybody in my discord is always asking about badges and jump shots my jump shot is 98 rudy gay rudy gay on the fastest speed everybody knows that i've had that jump shot since the game came out now as far as badges go these are the only two badges you need this is it this is all you need i know a lot of people are going to say yo why don't you why didn't you get 12 finishing for heat seeker as a point guard you are a much bigger threat from the three i know that for some reason a lot of people play seesaw and they love playing the twos game where like oh i could just easily slash past them and then once i get my takeover that's when i'll start shooting but what you have to understand is if you're playing with screens or you're, you're good enough to play on iso to hit moving shots or even just crab people and hit your shots this is all you need because this is going to be one of those moments where they say give up the two the big will come over and help and you dunk on the big and you're going to be like yo how did he do that it's because you got these two badges slithery will will some for whatever reason put you in certain animations that give you contact dunks that's just how it is you know what i'm saying now shooting badges like i told you guys man blinders hall of fame deep threes it can only go to goal right now but most likely it'll probably go up uh once you get to like 99 um and also the caveats let me see hot shot of course hot zone hunter i listen i'm a very big proponent of circus threes just simply because this is something that a, a lot of bills don't have now for all those people that like doing step back threes and stuff like that this badge will allow you to do a step back three and be able to take the step back in a, a regular jump shot step back jump shot not a step back oh you moving and, and you throw it up nope this is a step back three standing so this 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 actual bill can probably change the meta of the game if people started using this now um another thing that a lot of people like to use they like to use green machine and stuff like that but shooting is so easy in this game that you really don't need it also you don't need difficult shots for moving threes because difficult shots is for the mid range anyway. Now, some people do like to use rhythm shooter. Some people do like to use stop and pop, but me personally, I'm not worried about that. So I'm, I'm going to go circus threes. And then with the other two, you can have dead eye. Dead eye is not a bad badge anyway. You know what I'm saying? Now playmaking, whoo. You already know, man. Handles for days, ankle breaker, uh, tight handles quick first step and you could go bullet passer just to help out your teammates if you're in trouble you know what i'm saying only when you're in trouble now for everybody that loves the bailout and stuff like that if you want to be one of those people that say man i need bailout even though you know your pass accuracy is already high you can put bailout on bronze you know what i mean i know a lot of people's looking at this like yo nah i need hall of fame badges trust me you have a high amount of stamina you will be able to get gym rat you're probably going to be doing your workouts by the time you get gym rat anyway this works perfectly don't think that you need hall of fame badges to solidify you 
Trust me, gold is enough, bro. But if you really want to, I will go uh, Hall of Fame handles for days, mainly because if you want to be those one of those people to keep resetting every seven seconds because you can't get past your defender, Hall of Fame is good. But this would be what I would use. Now, defense. Everybody know, man. Everybody know what you need, man. That, that right there alone changes the game. But I would bring it down to gold clamps. I would bring chase down artists um, to bronze and I would go pick Dodger bronze and I would go clutch defender. So think about it like this in your head. Ankle braces, it won't help you. No matter what you do, ankle braces won't help you. Don't even try it. It's not worth it. But if you have chase down artists on bronze, you have a high block rating, you have intimidator, you have clamps, clutch defender and pick dodger. What will happen is if a player gets past you and you're not fully stunned, like in an ankle breaker animation, you can recover and block their shot because you have a high wingspan, which we gave you in the beginning. You have chase down artists, which gives you a added few animations that it will allow you to chase down block somebody. All right, so I'm telling y'all that's, that's key. And that's how my bad setup would be. Now, what I also would do, if I was just being like one of those people where, you know, I know for a fact that dudes love to play for the slash, I'm going rim protector. Because what this does is, it doesn't allow you to get caught in every single animation that they get when they're dunking. If that makes sense to you, this will allow you to jump out the animation, like freeing yourself and possibly getting a block possibly getting a body up contact, possibly having them, you know, throw the ball off the backboard or over the backboard, or you know what I mean? Like it, it allows those body up contacts. And the reason for a rim protector is because of the high block rate. And that's why we gave it to you in the beginning so that you could possibly get rim protector because rim protector does change the game when it comes to you being isoled and two people sitting in a corner and it's just you and that man. And all he wants to do is run through you and dunk on you. You feel me? But yeah, that's that's the bad setup on that, man. Hey, I want to thank everybody for watching this video, man. Shout out to everyone who watched it, man. Appreciate the love. Make sure you guys hit that like button. And also, like I said, if your build sucks or you want to switch things up, don't have any problem reaching out to me and my Discord server, man. Link below in the description. And oh, also, don't forget, download Fearless, the mobile game. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.